Saturday, August 20th, Growth Point Church is bringing back their Rock the Block Backpack Giveaway. Joining us now is Lead Pastor Mario J. Radford. Thanks for being with us. Thank you all for having me today. I don't have an evil laugh either. Okay, good. <laughs> you know, you might need to, we might need to pray over this one. <laughs> <laughs> now tell this is your your third year doing this yeah, i believe this is our third or fourth year we used to call it something else um but it kind of got lost in its um effect and what we were trying to do so rock the block seems to be more alluring to people rock the block a party as well as something that's uh, inviting to the community what does it mean, rock the block? What, what are you going to be doing to, to rock the block? Well, of course, to rock the block, of course, is a party. So you can't rock a block without party. So there's going to be live DJ and music and line dancing. But what's most important is we're going to make sure we'll have vendors. Um, we're going to make sure we have haircuts um, that will be there for licensed by licensed barbers. And we'll be giving uh, 100 backpacks to the first students that are there. So the first 100 people to get there, we will be giving free uh, backpacks that are already stuffed to give them for their school. Now, are you still accepting donations or mm -hmm. anything like that to, for the school supplies? Yes, anybody who wants to donate, they can donate. They can uh, still contact us monetarily or just even want in school supplies or anything. Now, you, you said that the backpacks are already stuffed. What are they going to be stuffed with? With school supplies, whether that be paper or pencils and anything that they would be using for uh, middle school, elementary, you know, types of things. Most high school students are not walking around with backpacks too much anymore. Uh, but if they are, you know, that has all the different things that they would need that usually their teachers have already sent to their parents that they would go to the floor to get. What made you all want to start doing this um, community event? Well, we knew that there was other events that were happening in the city, but as a church, we always wanted to be more um, present, not just in our building, our four walls. We want to be present and outside of it. So we knew that some of them were not getting to attend some of the other events. So we wanted to provide something for our our family and our friends that were connected to the church, as well as have a party while we were doing it. Uh, so while you're getting your backpacks, then you can go dance, do a line dance, get your face painted, um, eat food with vendors. Food is always an attractive um, uh, thing to everybody. People want to come and eat oh, and know. get things. So uh, <laughs> we want to make sure that people are having a good time as well as uh, it's a family event. Uh, so it's not just coming to get supplies, but your family can enjoy a whole festivity. Now, how can we find more information about how to get there, where's the address, and all that good stuff? Well, then go to our website, growthpointchurch.org forward slash block party, or Facebook, Growth Point Church, or Instagram, Growth Point Church, or anywhere else, the metaverse, you know, anywhere. <laughs> <that can find laughs> there you it. go. The yeah. Metaverse so, virtual yeah, everywhere. <laughs> yeah, they can find it, all the information there. Well, thank you so much, what you're doing for the community. It sounds like it's going to be, I heard line dancing, and I thought about, there's this one line dance that everyone's trying to get. You know the line dance I'm talking about, the Tamiya line dance? I've seen When it. I think about you. Well, why are you sitting? I, you I have, have to stand not up. Get it you have to stand a on that. Get you, dance get me at the block party. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much, Pastor. Yeah, thank you all. Thank you. <laughs>